Good morning, everybody. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of introduction kind of stuff. We're just going to hop into this. We are making, and I already have this one done, and I had to, um, I was really upset because the original globe that was on this had like a smudge, and I didn't, I thought it was something I like had on my hand, and it would wash right off when I was done, and it didn't. And what it was, was it was from the label, guys, and it wouldn't come off. And my other one had a crack in it from where I dropped it getting into the car at Dollar Tree. Um, and I had these for like probably th since Dollar Tree opened in our town. So this is um, actually has a light in it. Look at this, guys. Let me find my little switch so I can turn it on. Look at how cute that is, guys. And what I had to do was I had to take this off from the one with the globe that was bad. I happened to find a third one, and I just switched out the globe. I had to take my, um, what do you call that thing? And I may have to put like a pine cone back here because I have extra glue that I couldn't get off from the, the bow. So I'm going to put probably a pine cone back here just to finish up the back of this because it kind of... Um, Need something behind here. But how cute is that? Okay. This is not one that will be hung. It's just a set. And it is a couple of Christmas carolers with a tree. And I, guys, I love my um, tool. My um, whatever you call that tool. This thing. <laughs> I have been cutting plastic with that thing all day yesterday, having a field day. I love it. Let's get into some crafts, guys. This is a terrarium, and let me show you the one I already did. I don't know how things are sitting. I just literally hit the table with my knee and spilt my coffee all over. Um, yeah, it's that early in the morning. Um, this is also lighted. I wish these didn't have these big clumsy um, hanger things, but I understand why they do. They're not really meant to do what I did. The only thing I wish I had done differently was glue down the um, candle inside. This has got the truck. And camper from the Dollar Tree with a little tree. Bring it over a little closer for you to see. And then I put a white bow with some pine cones at the top. And took one of the, um, gosh I can't remember what to call these. These things, I think mine may have come from the Dollar General though. I have some from the Dollar Tree, some from the Dollar General. And those little wood things you see in there, the little moon, came from the Dollar General in their craft section. It's like a whole bag. They have moons, stars, crosses, hearts, birds, you name it, little hashtag signs. And I just used one of those. I cut a hole in the bottom of this to reach up in and to turn the switch on. How stinking cute is that? I thought about putting something around the opening, but um, I don't know. I wasn't sure how it would look. I didn't want to destroy or take away from what was inside of the globe. Like I said, guys, these are like stars, moons, you name it, from little, just little thin pieces of wood. And I went ahead and because I want this light to sit down in here, I needed to have something to lift the truck up above. So what I did was take a piece of foam board. And I'll tell you what, guys, this took me a bit to get it so that it was the right size. And you can bend this a little bit because you're not really going to see the crease. But if I had it too big, the truck wouldn't fit. And then, of course, I had to say, okay, I needed room for the truck also in here, so I had to figure out where to set everything. And then, of course, you know, getting the candle where it needed to be. So what I come up with is I also had to have a hole for the candle to be up in. The candle is going to be up in the air just a little bit, but not a lot. 
I also need to figure out where the candle's going to set in here inside of this and kind of mark the bottom of this. So once I have this all in there, kind of where it's going to set, and no, I'm going to use this. It's one of the trucks from Walmart um, because I don't have any more campers. Gosh, I wish I did. Um, he's going to be kind of like this. And there's also going to be, I pre-cut a piece of the felt um, that you would use. Um, it's like really thin. And you can use regular felt. This is for like, uh, for quilting and stuff. And I also cut it so it would go over that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm also going to put in some snow. So I also cut a piece of felt. So you're not really going to see the, the white part of that. And I will be clipping off this. So I need to figure out this is going to set. And it will be glued down so this isn't going to move. Where everything is going to set so I know where my candle is going to be. Um, with this one, I think I want the candle a little more to the front because I'm going to put trees back here. So I'm going to hold my candle where I want it. I'm going to turn it upside down. And I'm going to look where my... I could put this little tab anywhere, but I want to mark with a pen where I'm going to cut. And this one, I'm actually going to make the hole a little bit bigger than I did the last one. And I'm also going to kind of maybe, I don't know, if I glue it down, they can't replace the candle. But um, these candles burn a long time. So, you know, um, they should be okay. Because I'm going to take my uh, hot tool and I'm going to cut this out. When you cut with those, the hole that you cut is going to be bigger than where you're cutting. So you, if you make a hole, you want to make sure that what you mark out, you're cutting on the inside. So if you want something to be a specific size, you want to not cut the size you want. You want to cut inside that line. So that's kind of where I'm going to put the hole to reach in to turn this on. And I may kind of just tack this candle down just so it doesn't move around inside of there. Just like that. And I have a hole in which I can reach up in and turn on and off this little switch. I'm going to go ahead and pull the tab out, check my light, I'm going to position my candle, and I'm just going to use hot glue, there, and there. And then they can reach in, turn it on, turn it off. And I'm going to put some hot glue kind of. Drizzle just a bit of hot glue where I can reach. And let that cool a second. Now I have some extra pieces of this and I'm just going to kind of tear it up and I'm going to put it down inside of here. This is going to give something for that um, piece of styrofoam board to sit on. I'm going to stick it through the hole and stick that right down over top of the candle. Now I'm covering the trees and part of the truck with Mod Podge and then I'm going to just dip them in the glitter to give them a frosted look like they have snow and frost on them.
I'm using my gold metallic paint on the star to give it a shine. And then when it's dry, I'm also going to put Mod Podge on it, along with putting Mod Podge on the inside of the felt on the globe and maybe a little on the globe. And I'm going to use glitter, fill the globe with glitter, shake it around, and then dump out the excess glitter. I'm also going to put Mod Podge on the star now that it's dry. And I will also put glitter on the star. I also press the uh, glitter down to help make sure it stays fast to the felt. Here I am using E6000 and hot glue to glue my truck and the trees in. This gives it a quick and a permanent hold inside on the felt. When you're using both, you don't want to put your hot glue over top or mix it with the E6000. You just want to put E6000 in one spot and hot glue in the other. I'm using my wood burning tool again to put a hole in the very top and this gives me a place to be able to thread the string for the star through. I'm also putting a hole in the wood piece of the star to put a string through it also. This is also when I Mod Podge it and uh, put glitter on it. After putting the string through, I take a piece of painter's tape and I wrap the string up in the tape. And then I trim the tape down so it's th just a thin piece. This works like a needle so that I can actually thread the string up through the hole from the inside. And I can grab it from the top. It works so wonderfully. I've seen so many ladies on other DIYs do this and I really appreciate um, when they share these little hacks with us. Look at how easy that was. Now I'm just going to hold the string down out of the way, add some hot glue to this area to hold the star so that it looks like it's just dangling from the top. Okay guys, you know I cannot make a bow no matter what, but I have this really cute farm truck ribbon and I'm going to incorporate it into here. So I'm just faking this bow the best I can to make it look kind of nice. So I'm just folding over ribbon, giving it a little bit of a trim in the middle, and I'm taking two pieces of other ribbon and just gluing it down over the front to make it look like a bow. Simple as can be, just to make it look nice and gluing it down. And then I will be gluing that to the front. And it looks nice, it's clean, it's crisp. It just, 
my little Phobo. So here I am putting ample amount of hot glue on the top of the globe and affixing the greenery around and then I glue the bow in the very front. When you glue anything to this because it's plasticky kind of, it does melt it just a tiny little bit with the hot glue, which is perfect because it helps it lay down. Then I'm adding on a couple of pine cones. Now I did go back later and cover the very center of that bow with some red berries, but it doesn't, I didn't show it here. I did use some of these pip berry vine to make a handle to hang it with or to just put it on a door handle or hang it from your tree or whatever you need to hang it from. Um, it turned out so cute, and I just absolutely loved both of the way these, both of them turned out. Um, but I didn't sell these. I really expected both of them to sell. So I hope you enjoyed this little DIY. Um, they are really cute. There's a lot of things you can do with these terrariums from the Dollar Tree because you can reach in, and they do have a big opening. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.